Yeah, Rebecca, when it comes to the severe weather that Chris just mentioned, where we could see some power outages, some high winds, storms, and possible tornadoes, those with the Red Cross say now is the time to prepare. They recommend having an emergency kit with bottled water, non-perishable food, weather radios, batteries, flashlights, first aid kits, and even extra phone numbers. Now, many of these are items that you may already have in your home. Those with the Red Cross also say to make sure you have plans to take shelter if needed. They're recommending to stay indoors, but they say if you absolutely have to go out, stay alert. In the event of, let's say, flooding, of course, you never want to drive through a flooded road. Even a couple of inches of rain there could actually take your car away. If a storm were to happen, be alert for the possibility of downed power lines. You should always assume those lines are live. Never approach those. So if you were to leave your home after a tornado, really just be aware that there could be things such as, as nails or other obstructions out there that could be dangerous. And he also says that if you have kids, to make sure to go over these protocols and practice so that they know them as well.